Today I want to show you how to install a PostgreSQL relational database that's clustered to as many pods as you want. We'll install it on your own OpenShift local environment. Let me show you how to get started. The code for it you can find at github.com slash computate-org slash smartabayar smartvillage. In the OpenShift Customize Bundles Postgres Base directory are the components to install the Crunchy Postgres operator, an, a namespace for Postgres, and an Argo CD application to install everything else, all the other components. So all I need to do is go into my terminal, into home slash dot local src smartabayar smart village. And here, let me make sure my OpenShift local environment is running with CRC start. It is, so I can log in here. Here I am in my OpenShift environment. I'll copy the login command so that my terminal can run operations as kubeadmin. So I grab the token here and put this into my terminal. Let's see. Yeah, like this. Uh, and now I'm in. All I need to do now is OC apply dash K open shift customize bundles Postgres base. And let's pull up Argo CD because it's fun to watch. Go to networking routes. Argo CD and run this command. Now you'll see this Postgres here. It's already synced. And let's look at the components here a little bit. There's a lot. So let me show you what happened. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's search for Postgres cluster. So the operator put this custom resource Postgres cluster into here and we have a Postgres cluster object in the Postgres namespace, which was created. Here it is. So we set up an instance of two replicas, storage of one Gibibyte, and we use the post crunchy Postgres GIS image version 15, which means that if you want post gis um, spatial, uh, spatial database, you can add that extension as well here. There's an image for that, which is cool. Um, let's dive into this a little further. So we'll take a look at the workloads, pods. You'll see that the Postgres can do its own backups with this pod and a host. And here's two individual pods just for my Smarta by our Smart Village database. So, so we said 
it needs two replicas and sure enough that's what it created here and you'll also see that if you go to stateful sets it's got both of those here for the smart device smart village database pretty cool right now let's go back to the pod to one of these and try it out so we'll go to the terminal we'll type psql postgres and we're in and just to check let's do select postgis underscore version and sure enough there's postgis working so it was so easy to create a cluster database on OpenShift. Um, so I hope that was helpful and stay tuned for a lot more about smart device technology and working with data, databases, and search engines and data-driven APIs. Thanks for watching.